Hey guys. Okay, so today I realized that since I'm recording a new episode today, that it'd be fun to make a a thing I like to call Nortree High Extra or extras. I, I don't know if I want to make it plural or not. I think it is a plural, so let me shut up and just, um, yeah, too much explaining going on, not enough talking. Basically, a Nordry High Extra is where I go into detail explaining certain things, like topics like house tours, um, talking about characters, explaining character development, and character arcs, and just talking about characters, and just different things in general. In this episode of Nortree High Extras, I want to get into something called ships and um, houses that are going to be a big part of the series. Now, I know, I know, my friends, my first friend that reacted to the series was wondering why did I show the dorm like, mention it a couple of times, but not really ever do anything about it. Like, not really use it as a plot or a way to um, make the plot move forward. And I will just say this, my friend, or my friends. The dorm will become a bigger part to play in the series. But it is the beginning of the series where I'm figuring a lot of things out. Figuring what I want to do mainly and what order I want to do things. So it doesn't come out to be this figured and it doesn't really make sense. I want to say this before I get into it too much. But the scene where Bianca is crying, I think in like episode 3. Um, it doesn't seem to make sense to you guys now, but I'll just explain into it because this is no GI Extra where I can go in and ramble on and on for hours and no one cares. So let me go in and ramble about it. So basically, with the whole Bianca crying incident, it was based on the fact that she's a new girl, okay? She just came to this random school that her mother just sent her to, and here's the kicker. Her mom doesn't live with her. She's barely around. Her She doesn't have a dad. Her dad's dead. And, you know, with that, she's she feels lonely. So when she's by herself in the library by herself, it just it's a constant reminder that she has no one. So she starts crying her eyeballs out that she's alone again. So it, it makes sense, but it doesn't. I feel like I should have done something to execute it better. Because at the end of the day, I do only have barely, barely even three days to really record and edit this. So I, you know, it, it, it feels like things are rushed for me in general when I'm recording, when I'm uploading, when I'm, when I'm making all the thumbnails. So I'm sorry that it seems rushed and it is rushed. And that is my fault. To a certain degree, I don't really post that much, and I realize that. But these, like, three months lately have been really busy for me, and I've been doing a lot, a lot of things. Especially when it comes down to my editing and getting a new mic. Oh. Sorry. I, I said alarm, so, um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I tend to have less free time, and that includes edit, um, blah, blah, that includes making YouTube videos, sorry. But, yeah, it does include editing, too. I, I also tend to procrastinate when it comes to schoolwork, so, <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's it just, I don't know. I want to say that I will get better at it, but, um, I guess I will, because it is near summertime, but I'm, I have plans for the whole summer. I have plans for the direction I want the series to go to for summer. I'm gonna do basically a cliche move, but it's not cliche at all. Like, her move during the summertime, um, to visit or go to a different location during the summer. But that's, I'm doing it in a way that's not very cliche, so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I have a lot of plans that I want to do during the summer. I want to do things. I'm trying to have the plot and the characters move smoothly. The way I do things is kind of a slow burn way where everything is very, very, very slow paced. So it's not coming at you fast, but it, it's pretty, I don't know. I don't know if it's satisfying, but it just hits different when everything's slower paced and you get to see everything build up slowly. I hate seeing fast paced things. It bores me to death. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, please respect that. 
So yes, anyways, getting back into details about the series and the show. The first thing I want to get into is the dorm. There are plots that, that involve, that heavily involve the dorm. And I feel like, I think around like, I don't know, probably around episode 10, maybe we'll start to see stuff about the dorm. I don't think I want to mention it that early, but if I end up doing that, then yeah, you're going to start to see and hear things about the dorm. The reason why I don't want to mention things about the dorm yet is because the dorm ties into something everybody likes to call ships. Now, I want to talk about ships that are possible, but I don't want to mention them yet. Now, since I am bisexual, I want to bring in some representation. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Not just me, myself, because that's not enough representation. No, 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 no. I want to have characters that come out and are gay, um, bisexual, and or maybe asexual. I don't know about the asexual thing because I'm not, I'm not asexual. I, I can't represent something I'm not good at like, you know, something I don't know that much about and I don't have experience with. And I don't want to misrepresent any asexual person out there. So I may not do the asexual one, but it is a possibility. It's not a good possibility since I am not asexual and I'm not, you know, I, I'm just not in there, basically. I don't know much about it. But I do want to have representation on a lot of different sides. Um, so yeah, I do want to incorporate a lot of LGBT in it because this is a high school series and a lot of people when they make high school series, they make it about them. And if you look at the description of this series though, um, do I want to click on my Google? I guess, sure. Let's click on it. Yes, and yes, I have to do that every time I want to exit Minecraft when I'm recording because otherwise if I click, um, the escape thing... I'm just gonna be freaking um, causing the recorder to stop. So now let me read this out for you guys. If you've never re re read, let me read it for the people who've never read it. Have you ever wanted a series filled with drama? Well, this is for you. <laughs> As you follow the main characters, Bianca, Lucas, Harvey, ha Harvey, Harley, Mr. Liam, Cece, Mia, Raven, Talon, you start to feel emotions towards all of them. Good or bad, or give, or take. Oh, damn, I think I read that last part wrong. Good or bad, give or take. This isn't just a drama, though. It may contain more than you could imagine. Watching an risk due to the amount of cursing. <laughs> I know. Oh, there's a lot of cursing in this. Um, but, you know. The main characters, as it says, Bianca, Lucas, but here's the thing. I'm not sure if I want all of them to be the main characters. Because I do understand in the first season, they're not all going to have time to be main characters. At the most, at most, they're going to be side characters that are very needed to make, to make the plot go on. But honestly, um... I think Harvey, Harvey is definitely not the most important character. And Lucas, um... We haven't talked much about Lucas yet. We've talked about his relationship problems, but mm, Mr. Liam is going to be a big one. Actually, Mr. Liam is one of the biggest parts of the series, and you guys are not going to like why. Um, yeah, so a lot of these people are very big parts of the thing. Harvey, no. Um, Talon, I'm not sure. But yeah, everyone else is a big part of it. I cannot believe I didn't... Oh yeah, okay. I was going to say, I cannot believe I didn't have Mia in there. Uh, so, yeah. God, I should have added, um, yeah, there's a couple people I should have added to here, but, um, yeah, that's basically it. So, basically, yeah, I'm not the only character, I'm not the only main character in here, so it's, it's gonna be a slow burn. There needs to be time to develop these characters, and a lot of people don't take that time to slowly push their characters forward. If you don't use that time wisely, you know, you're gonna be out of characters, and you're just gonna be out of a story. Um, and I understand that a lot of people don't make it until episode 20 without, you know, just forgetting about their series or just wanting to take a break. 
And when I was younger, I used to make My Little Pony roleplay, so I can understand that. I usually, um, I used to take breaks when doing them. Like, just in the first two, three episodes, I'd get so bored that I'd literally just stop that series in general and make a new series. Like, every other day, I was making a new series. So, basically... Um, yeah, I understand that a lot of people do that, but for me, this series will be part of my life for a while. Just like Misty Meadows will be, I, mm, fun fact, Misty Meadows was originally going to be called, um, yeah, actually, no, I'm not going to say what it was originally called, because it's, it's a very big spoiler for the series, so, <laughs> I cannot believe I named it that, even though it, it was such a spoiler, Wow, I was such a dumbass. Actually, I am a dumbass. But yeah, so we're going to be talking about ships. Basically, ships are like the highlight of my life. I worship ships, I love ships, and ships are the best thing that ever happened to my life and existence. So, oh yeah, look at her room. It's so cute. It's pretty basic, but she's very tomboyish. She doesn't like anything that's very girly. She hates girly things, in fact. Um, yeah, but... She's not like other girls, except she's not, you know, she's not that bad trope. Oh, I got a text message. Why? Uh, 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 uh so, so, sorry. Uh, um, uh, b besides that, d d um, so we're gonna no ignore, ignore that text. Um, so anyways, um, <laughs> Uh, 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 oh, yeah, 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 ships, ships. Ships are a big part of my life, honestly. Um, I do want to get really detailed into them. Oh my gosh, sorry, my voice cracked. Um, I want to get very detailed in the ships, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I was talking about the Misty Meadows thing. Oh, um, before we continue with the ships talk. Like, these series are going to be part of my life for a long time. And I'm not going to quit them after, like, a day or so of loving it because honestly i've always wanted to make a minecraft roleplay a uh, screw making mlp roleplays i i enjoyed that when i was younger but i ended up stopping because it was unfulfilling it was just something that wasn't it i'm sorry it wasn't that interesting to me minecraft characters i feel like you can betray so much more than sorry you could betray so much more with the minecraft character than you can with the my little pony so <laughs> Anyways, um, so I, I, I just, I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to the ship talk. Ships are a big part of my life. They have been since I was, you know, a really young girl when I first watched a romantic movie, which I, I don't even know what age that was. I've been watching romance since the day I was born, so, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I love ships. So what I'm going to do is give in to the fan service. I know that's a bad idea. And writers, any writer here or any good person when it comes to making a series, don't give in to fan service. But here's the thing. My series is mostly this series, not any other series, just so you know. Misty Meadows, I, I don't want to give in to fan service for those series like Misty Meadows. Because that series, I have a set plot, and I want everything to go according to plan, or I'm not doing it. But this series, it, it has a plan, but obviously, when doing the plan, since it's a new type of thing, I've never done a series like this in my life, I want to experiment with it. And fan service, I think, it's, it's not the worst thing to happen in the world, but it's also a very, very dumb idea. I'm only giving in to it because I want to see what people feel about certain ships and who do people feel belong together. I don't know. It's just something I feel is, it should be determined by your audience. Maybe, I don't know. But see, there's a lot of problems with fan service, but I think I want to give in to a little bit of fan service. Not the whole thing, especially not with the plot. But if you guys have good ideas about certain plots and certain character development things or uh, certain character arcs, you know, I, I'd really appreciate if you guys leave a comment down below saying what you guys would like to see. Because I might or may, I may or may not do it. So, um, I do love, I do love the idea of, you know, doing this though. Romance has been a big part of my life for years. And hopefully I'll get to express that more in the series. Ships are a big part of my life. I've been a... 
a big shipper for most of my life. And when I first learned the word ship, ship, I was like, oh wow, I've been doing this my whole life. So, and I felt at ease using that word. So yes, ships are gonna be a big part of this series, but there's a lot of um, important things that I don't wanna, I do want to let you guys know. Sorry, my words are scrambled today. I'm not good at speaking. It's just when I, when I'm thinking, too fast and talking too fast for my no when I'm talking too fast for my brain to comprehend or think clearly through it I kind of scrimble on my words I don't know if that makes any sense okay let me calm down when I do this um yeah this series while it's filled with a lot of ships it's also filled with a lot of serious moments that um have to do with you know um family issues you know coming out to your family or just you know the overall feeling of being alone i i want to talk more about that especially in this series because i have a perfectly good chance to i want to reach teens i want to reach teens all around the world with this because well not all around the world because it's not like everyone's gonna see this but i want to reach people and especially young teens to say you know it's okay to feel this way and no matter what i will be here to um talk to you about it I want to express things that I've gone through in my series because a lot of these topics that I talk about are important to me. They mean a lot to me. And if I feel like if I misrepresent them in the, in the wrong way, like if I misrepresent them, I will be destroying something that I care so much about. So I'm trying my hardest not to say something that's going to sound stupid or it's going to clash with what I'm trying to advocate for. I, I don't want to come across as, oh, you know, she's just trying to do it because it's cool nowadays too. And, you know, a lot of people are trying to do that. I'm coming, I'm trying to do this stuff because I've experienced these things. And I don't want people to think that I'm just saying or talking about these things to be popular or to get more attention on the media. No, I'm talking about these things because they are genuinely important to me. And these topics are very close to home. So with that being said... This series will have a lot to do with the dorms, and it will also have a lot of things to do with the shipping. But, um, let me just say this before anyone gets ideas. Ship wars are disgusting. Making fun of them, like making fun of someone because of a ship that they like, or enjoy, or feel comfort in, makes you a dummy, and I hope you get thrown out the window. It is not okay to make fun of someone for a ship. I don't care what the hell age you are. People like to defend it saying, oh well, they're five, they're eight, they're, I don't care what age you are. Making fun of someone for something that they like does not make you cool, it makes you ugly, and it makes you an ugly human being. So shut the hell up. I don't care if you enjoy one of my ships over another. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care. This, this this is not rude. This is me being real and honest. You people that like to be annoying and stalk others and harass others for opinion that they have, you people can go to hell. You are nasty and you make a whole fandom disgusting. And as on period, if I see a fan or a supporter of mine doing that, you are canceled, honey. You are tossed in a trash bin. No one has the right to make fun of another. No one. I've been making, I, no, I've been made fun of for liking anime and things like that. And it's not cute. It's not cool. It, it just makes you look ugly. So please stop and realize that everybody's opinions are valid. Your opinion is valid. Their opinion is valid. My opinion is valid. So understand that. And take their opinion with a grain of salt if you don't feel the same way. Amen. Now. That will be it for this video. Okay, bye. Love you guys. <laughs>